Hey, what's up, y'all? What to do? Um. Do you do? We haven't done <coughs> y'all in a minute. Mm hmm. Yeah. Excuse me. Hold on, y'all. I'm thirsty. Mm. Nobody broke it up or, you know, so to make a lot of No, this was recent, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't think it was Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I thought it was um, recent, but anyway, I mean, still, still yeah. mm -hmm. the, the, the fact that um, a bunch of adults were watching a fight and they were watching the kids fight at the end of somebody's driveway, and the person who was driving was called the police and let them know that, you know, it's kids fighting and the adults are watching. Eventually, the girl who belittled the other girl's um, stepfather broke the fight up and she paced back and forth and then after pacing back and forth for a minute she fell flat on her face and died now her death could have been prevented 
if the adult would have been adult and would have been intelligent and broke up the fight. So they were just as immature as those little girls that were fighting. And of course the girl who was being belittled, she was charged. I don't know how it went because I didn't even know it was old. The way they, um, it popped out, it, it, it was new and I was just like, you know, what they, they charged her um, with attempted murder. My throat is dry. <coughs> <laughs> but yeah, they charged her um, with attempted murder. Not sure what went on with that because, yeah, but she got charged with attempted murder because they don't know whether it could have been a uh, blow that hit the girl on the head or, you know, so yeah, but the adult should have broke it up and they didn't. So I just was, you know, talking about that because I think it was sad as I don't know what because adults get together that that's why the kids act like heathens because the adults are heathens for real for real mm -hmm. but um yeah and i know a lot of people well i know a lot of y'all have heard about the baby that was six months and got shot like five times and what i have to say about that is of course it's saying it's a tragedy but what i don't understand is if the father is in a game i know you want to be a father to your child but why told your why told your baby around when you know you are open, you know, open target, and so, you know, her death could have been prevented. And if you're changing, you're, you're in a gang, and you, you're in a gang, you're in a rival gang, so you know if your gang enemy, or whatever you want to call it, sees you, and you're out, then they want to, um, you know, light it up, and you changing the baby in the, in, in the front of the seat of the car, or whatever you was in, just out, out, like, like you're not in the gang. Right, right, right. Nobody is after you. It is crazy. I think that, I think that, you know, from, he, he's going to be feeling a little bit guilty for, for, a long time. for a long time. I can't say for the rest of his life because the way he going, he will be gone soon. soon. So, you know, I just think that that, that is sad and that I feel like your fathers and mothers, if they're in the game, then don't have your child outside with you because you know it's a danger for your child to be with you. So that's what I say about that. Then a mother was shot in her knee while she's pregnant with the same baby. So I'm like, it's dangerous to be associated or affiliated with you. So why have your baby, you know? Uh, another story is because we're going on here. Um, we was in that news one a couple of, a couple of weeks ago and you know what I'm saying, it was this um, lady and her husband was cheating on her. I think her mistress, I think his mistress called the wife and let the wife know that, you know, your hubby been cheating on you with moi. And um, so the husband get home and everything and she questions him or whatever. And I guess he was maybe acting nonchalant or whatever. And so he decided to go to sleep. And so he goes to sleep. She gets to boiling. She gets to boiling some hot water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her girl boiled some hot water while he was asleep. Took that hot water, took it and threw it on that crotch area. He no longer had balls. It's all gone. She tore it up. No balls, no pain. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have one more story that um that I read, and um it was sad, unfortunate. But I laughed so damn hard. Now, what it was, was about was I read about this couple in Zimbabwe, and they were on like this little, um, I guess like this little safari ride or whatever, or you know, I guess some type of safari. But to make it long story short, as they were in the Zimbabwean, Zimbabwean brush, I guess that's how you pronounce it, or whatever. But they decided to venture off and go have sex in the brush. So while they're having sex. A lion comes up behind them and roars. Now, when I'm reading this, I start picturing it because if a lion came up behind me and roared, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the chills and then I'm going to start freaking out. So I picture them having the, um, you know, the chills and everything. So when the lion roared, the man jumped up and ran and he ran back to the edge of the bush. And when he looked back, the lion was attacking and mauling the woman. And he was waving his arm. Hold, hold, hold on, because the ambulance is coming, so you might not be able to hear her unless she starts talking like this. <laughs> OK. 
okay? So he runs to the edge of the brush, brush, bush, whatever. He runs to the edge and he's waving his arms and yelling and screaming for help. And he has a condom dangling off his penis. And nobody stops and help him because they think he's mentally ill because he's butterball naked, waving his arms around with that condom hanging off his penis. Eventually somebody came to help, but by the time they came to help, it was um, too late and the lady died. So all I can say is, I hope she had an orgasm before the man jumped up and ran and left her ass. I hope she went out with a straight bang. <laughs> but for real, and I think she was like the second person that happened that happened to whatever the second couple. And it's wild because I, when, when Pia told me about it, I had to picture it and I laughed and I cried so hard or anything because I'm sorry, y'all. I'm great. I laughed and cried so hard that here yeah, that. I had to look it up and, and, and do a little bit, yeah, and reach up there and so there's the second person that happened to and the ladies before that, she had she had more too. So, um, yeah. On that note, it's uh going on it's eleven minutes so far. Um and tell you more pregnant. And she looks real cute. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so. Go Tamar, yeah. Go Tamar, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, I would've been popping some babies out for him. So, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so uh, we about to um, wrap this up. Yeah, we about to wrap this up. So, um, we just want to say hey. Um, and we'll see y'all later. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, all right. Pice, pice.